Bueno, este programa que vamos a ver fue realizado en el año 2007 y escrito en el año 2000, 24 años atrás, utilizando este tipo de cámaras que son muy icónicas, las HDB, esta es la Sony A1, también usamos la Sony Z1, eh, viajamos por todos lados, fue realmente una experiencia hermosa, pero lo divertido es que lo hicimos con muy poco presupuesto para Lifestyle TV y lo gracioso es que este programa es muy parecido a los programas de YouTube y al estilo que los YouTubers usan hoy. Así que voy a estar subiendo un segmento cada tres días. Vamos con el primer segmento, vamos a mirarlo y a ver qué les parece. Culinary Adventures. Another culinary adventure. Today we will bring the swamp into you. No. <laughs> no, no. Today we will bring... Okay, let's cut that. Let's cut that. <laughs> Another culinary adventure. Today we will bring you into the swamp. Have you ever imagined being attacked and eaten by an alligator? What about you being the one that eats the alligator? Yes, that's right. Right here in this area between Georgia and Florida, alligator catching and eating is a typical dish. This is why we came here to find out everything about it. And in order to find out about this exotic dish of alligator cooking, we have a few special guests. First of all, we have Mike and Bill, our alligator and swamp guide. Oh, what's up, guys? Uh, pleasure. <laughs> pleasure. So they're going to take us around and show us a, a little bit some hidden places around here to see if we find we can see any alligators. But before we do that and while we get ready with the airboat, we are going to go and take a look into our guest chef, which is a very high profile chef, David Burr. Let's take a look and meet him. I'm David Burrell, Chef David Burrell, and I've been cooking for over 30 years. I've been a chef since 1984, a certified chef, and uh, I teach at the First Coast Technical Institute School of Culinary Arts. And I do a lot of things for the Institute. I was director for 12 years, and now I'm director of all the military training programs uh, for the uh, Navy cooks. Uh, I've done some work for the Air Force, worked at uh, the White House, Pentagon, Camp David, Spain, Italy, And today we're going to be cooking alligator. We have Gonzo's out looking for some now, and I know he's going to bring some back, and we're going to be in the alligator pit. We're going to make some alligator sunlight potato hash browns, and then we'll make um, alligator brochettes, and we'll also make fried uh, alligator with a mango salsa. Alligator can be cooked uh, any way that any other protein can be cooked. Uh, I've had it as jambalaya. Most people but most people fry it. But if you look into the state of Florida's aquaculture, uh, you'll see a whole list of recipes from alligator ribs to fried gator to gator potato salad. There is actual pictorial evidence of uh, the early American Indians eating alligators. So I would imagine people have been eating alligators as long as there's been people here in Florida. The licensed alligator hunters use airboats uh, to track them down uh, and then they either spear them. But Gonzo's out there right now trying to get us an alligator.
we are looking for right now. We can't find it. He went underwater. Okay, let's find out about these incredible vessels called the airboats. Let's see what might have to say about it. Well, these boats were generally designed back in the late 1940s when man was having a difficulty getting around in, into the swamp. So they they come up with a, uh, a air-cooled, uh, propeller-driven boat that can travel across the grass in the swamps. And as far as using the airboats in everyday lifestyles down there, they use the airboats during the alligator hunting season. And uh, it, it just makes it more accessible for them to get into the swamp. Tell me all the safety issues. Okay, hopefully we survive for the next vlog. Stay with us. In two minutes, we're back. Bueno, y en el último segmento digo, I see in two minutes, no va a ser en two minutes, va a ser en tres días. Nos vemos en tres días para seguir mirando este interesante programa donde el chef David Bear va a cocinar lagarto y pasan cosas muy divertidas en el Alligator Farm de Saint Agustín. Nos vemos.